setting up and troubleshoot ERPS ring for Planet Network Switch. For today's video, we will have a brief intro about ERPS ring, setting up an ERPS ring network, and common troubleshooting you may encounter. Ethernet Ring Protection Switching ERPS, is a protocol that forms a redundant ring connection with multiple switches to enhance network transmission reliability and recovery. The ring ensures recovery under 10 milliseconds and provides a backup link for continuous operation. The network can create subrings from the existing ring network to expand reach with the reliable recovery feature. It follows the ITUTG.8032 standard, which makes it highly compatible with most networking devices. The ERPS ring is the perfect solution for large network infrastructures. ERPS ring can be used in many critical applications including large enterprises, manufacturing plants, smart cities, and telecom. A few limitations should be considered when integrating the ERPS ring. All switches must be ERPS ring compatible to utilize the ring feature and it is recommended to use fewer than 16 switches in an ERPS ring to keep recovery time under 10 milliseconds. We'll be using four Ethernet switches for this training to form an ERPS ring network. Begin by signing into the Planet Wizard page. At the home page, click on the ring button at the top. Then click the Ring Wizard on the left side. At the total switch number, enter the number of switches that will be in the ring network. Since we're using four switches, we'll enter four in the box. Switch ID is where you will assign a number for each switch. Let's enter one for the first switch we're setting up. Then click next. Now let's assign the ports that will be used to connect to the other switches. For switch one, we will enter port two to connect to switch two. Then enter port one to connect to switch four. Click Set, then confirm the configuration. Repeat the previous process for setting up each switch and when all the switches are configured, the network will form a ring connection. If the ERPS wizard displays idle, then it means the network is operating normally. A protected link will be assigned to prevent loops and will be used to direct traffic routes if a link break occurs. When the system detects a link break, the ERPS will automatically unblock the protected link to have the traffic rerouted. The protected link will continue to provide transmission until the link break is resolved. If you experience network failure with ERPS ring network, here are some common troubleshooting mechanics to consider. Can I use other ring management software? When configuring the network, Make sure it is done with the ERPS wizard as this is the primary management software for Planet ERPS Ring Network. What should I check if the connection isn't registering? The connection port configured in the wizard must match the actual port being connected to. All the ports are assigned correctly, but why are the switches not communicating? When choosing the port connection for each switch, Make sure the number for the ERPS control VLAN are the same for each switch. This ensures data can be transferred between switches. Can I use STP and RSTP with the ERPS ring network? On every ERPS ring port, disable all the STP and RSTP to ensure it doesn't interfere with the ERPS ring operation. Other troubleshooting methods to consider. Set the ERPS MEP level of every switch as zero. This will allow layer two and layer three switch series to connect seamlessly. Uncheck the enable box for the continuity check of every switch. This ensures clear transmission across layer two and layer three switch series. All Planet Managed Switch Series can utilize the ERPS ring feature for a more reliable network infrastructure. Thank you for watching the ERPS ring training video and hope it helps you get started with implementing the ring feature into your own network. If you have any questions about ERPS ring, please contact our technical support through email or from our website. Planet Technology is your trustworthy partner.